Hey guys, we got a lot to talk about today. Today I want to talk about dating issues that guys run into over here. And a lot of guys that come over here think that they're going to meet their 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 dream girl within a week, and it just doesn't work out that way over here. It, it's it's like you're you have to really put in the effort and a search for a decent girl over here. A lot of guys think that no matter who they find, they're a Filipina. They're you know they're fine. I'll be good. I've heard all the stories, and and a lot of that's just fantasy. It just is. You know, you, if you if you go out there, it, it, I don't care how beautiful the girl is. If you marry the the first beautiful girl that you run into, it there's a whole load of issues that you can run into there. But today I want to talk about all the issues that that people have with dating over here. I remember back in the '80s when I first started coming over here, and. I come over here on my own. I was not in the military at the time. I had just gotten out of the military, and I come over here. And I remember seeing the girls over here as 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 darker, because they had that beautiful tan. And then they started using all these whitening soaps. And almost every single soap over here, and and skin cream or whatever, has some sort of whitener in it to make them whiter. Which, to me, I like come. I, I like the woman over here because of the fact that they have the beautiful brown skin, the beautiful black hair, the beautiful brown eyes, and they just have this beautiful Asian look that a lot of people in the world don't have. They have like this very special look, and they have this special kindness that they have too. And some of this has changed since the '80s. We've we've you know, Filipina Unfiltered was recently talking about the the obesity em- epidemic over here, and the obesity epidemic has changed the way that the, the women look over here. Not to say that everybody over here is obese, they're not. We have our obesity epidemic in the United States too, with both men and women, and a lot of us that are over here that are vloggers or um, expats or whatever, most of us have a few extra pounds, including myself, on, on us, you know, and you know, and so, so don't Filipinas, but yet they're looking for Filipinas that are, you know, five feet two, the way, 90 or 100 pounds or something like that and they have to have the perfect body on them and they have to have a bikini body and they have to have this 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 Miss America look on, on them and it's almost impossible to find that I'll, I'll be I'll be honest there's a lot of beautiful Filipinas out there but you know when when we talk about attractiveness to me anyway attractiveness is this I could see a woman that might not be totally totally beautiful but I'm attracted to her because of of who she is, her personality, her wit, her humor, you know, and and that makes her a 10 to me. And I think if you put all of your, you know, all your marbles into the way she looks, I think you're losing out because you're not, that marriage is not going to last long or or that relationship is not going to last long because it's all about how she looks. It's just her looks. Think of attractiveness as not just looks, but attractiveness is is part of its looks. You have to have a, a, a certain amount of attraction to the woman, obviously, and she has to have a certain amount of attraction to you and want to pay some attention to you. And that's that's that that's that's the key right there. And it, like I said, attractiveness is all, all not all about beauty. A lot of it is is like we said, personality, um, wit, humor, and a lot of other things. There has to be a certain chemistry there too. And a lot of guys don't care about that chemistry. They don't think about that. And that chemistry is really, really important to any relationship. A lot of guys just don't don't care about the, the relationships over here. They just, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, on to the next girl. Then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, on to the next girl. And, and it, it's, those are the sex pads. You know, and there's a lot, of, but the majority of guys that come over here are really looking to find a decent, respectful girl that's decent looking, attractive to them whatever that attractiveness may be you know and then settle down with them and most of the guys are older and you know we have to kind of we don't have to lower our standards i won't say but we kind of have to take it down a notch a little bit because you know we're older and a lot of guys are looking for 22 year old women and 25 year old women and 27 year old women and a lot of guys are saying hey you know i don't want that well maybe they don't want somebody because they have kids or what have you. That's also another factor. That plays into the factor too. Some guys are willing to take on a kid <clears throat> and some guys are not. There's a lot of single mothers out there. There's a lot of people out there that are separated too. And that brings into 
another issue into the into the mix. You know, if the, if the woman's separated, it can cause problems sometimes. It's it's usually not a big deal if if the if the woman, I mean, if the woman has a husband that's already moved on, because usually then you're you're pretty much safe. But you should try to get the annulment. The annulments cost about four thousand, anywhere from three to three to five thousand U.S. dollars to get it done. Um, if you really really like the woman, then you got to you, you have to pay that. Now, do I recommend going out with a, a a woman that's that's still married? You know, make sure you maybe she's le make sure she's legally separated or something like that. Try to have a uh, some sort of agreement written out so you're not going to get you know in any sort of trouble or anything 99 percent of the time it's not an issue okay so there's a lot of guys out there that have put out a lot of false information on that yes you can get in trouble but the likelihood of it is, is almost zero it's almost zero okay and i'm not telling you to do that because of the, the likelihood is almost zero i'm just telling you the likelihood is almost zero <clears throat> now here's the other thing OFWs. We talk about OFWs every once in a while on here. It's not a subject that we take up quite often, but OFWs, um, people should look into OFWs, actually. If you're on these dating sites and the girl's an OFW, um, a lot of these OFWs can be engineers. They could be nurses. They might just be a maid, a housekeeper, or what have you. A lot of OFWs, um, that's where a lot, a lot of what we call the brain drain happens. In the Philippines, most people that go to college not, not most, but a good amount of them go overseas to work. They go overseas to work because that's where the money is. The money is overseas. So they take off and they have the education. All these people with education take off from the Philippines and usually go somewhere else or they try to look for a job or start a, a, a business on their own so that they can make the kind of money that people in the United States make. That's what it's all about. Nobody really wants to stay here as a nurse. If, I, if, if a nurse can make you know, way more money overseas. Because over here, they're only gonna make between probably four and $600, unless they work in some sort of overtime or have a specialty in, in, in nursing or whatever. Maybe they're a nurse practitioner or what have you. You know, you have to think about these things that these people, most of them are gonna leave. They're only gonna stay over here to, you know, for maybe two years to get some a job under their belt for a while so they can go to one of these OFW places, get an overseas job, and then move on and move to the United States, to Canada, to the UK, to Australia, or whatever other country that they want to go to. And that's the thing. You have to consider that these, some of these people might, you know, want to go overseas just to get a job. They might want to use you as a ticket too, but some of them might not. And you can get a woman if you, if you, if you can see through if you think this girl is good for you and you know that she's not taking advantage of you to get you to take her into the United States or into Australia or into the UK or whatever, you know, and, and, and she might have, you know, she could go over there and work and be happy. And that might be her thing, you know, but a lot of guys, they're looking for somebody that's going to be around them 24 seven. And that's another aspect of this too. So if you get somebody that's going to go overseas and they're, they're going to be a worker or whatever, you know, you have to consider that. Are you going to be okay with that? You know, because you don't want to take somebody over to the United States that already has a high, a really high education level. They have the education level. And then, you know, you're going to make them throw all that away just to sit around and watch TV with you or to go places with you or whatever. Do you really want that? You do want to take that girl out of that. But if you, you know, some people with an education, at least you can have a conversation with them. You know, some of these women here, they, they, they come from the, the, the province provinces or whatever and it's hard having a conversation with some of these women because they really don't speak good English they really don't they don't they just don't have it they don't have that education level but a lot of guys are okay with that they're, they're willing to put up with that and I'm not sure if I you know if you want to you almost have to kind of teach them the way the world really is because some of these people don't even know that there's time zones and things like that S simple things that, that most of us we, we we know they don't know you know, this, it, you'd be amazed at what some of these provincial women don't know when you start talking to them. It's crazy. And when you have these conversations with me, like, you never knew that? You know, like, when you talk to these women, sometimes it's really bizarre. But then, you know, that's why I say an educated woman is so much better in some ways. But also there's women that are just smart. They pick it up on their own. It could be a girl that has a high school diploma that's, that could be really intelligent. And they have those over here, too. But... There is a brain drain over here for sure. There are good women over here that are smart and intelligent, but what I'm saying, like I said before, 
and this isn't this isn't a a, a, a smack at at Filipinas. It's it's what I'm saying is a lot of the smart Filipinas do leave to go overseas. So all that 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 happens in in any country where their main export is people, you know, and educated people. They all go overseas and 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 then it leaves behind all the people that that lack skills, lack education, you know, and that's and, and that's what's left here, you know. And I'm not saying everybody in the Philippines uneducated. That's 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 false. But it does leave people that are less educated more so here. And the Philippines puts has a lot of schools here where they've, they've been really pushing education because you can go through some of these colleges for free around here and stuff. And I give credit to the Philippines for really pushing people through and, and pushing education upon people. I think that's really, really smart for the Philippines to do that. But people, even at those schools, there's still costs of books and stuff like that. So there is... You know, and some people can't afford that. So the, the people that are really lower on the totem pole in poverty and stuff like that, they still can't even afford to go to school, even to a free college, which is very unfortunate. But when you're out there dating, you know, give more. If, when you, if, you're, if you're looking out there, give more credit to the women out there that might not be really beautiful. Because some of these women, they can't afford makeup or something like that. So you're looking... Some of these guys, they go out to the malls and stuff like that when they're looking and they're dating. And some some of the girls out there will have makeup on. And, and they look beautiful because they have the makeup on. But when they take that makeup off, they're going to look like the girls that most people would take, you know, pass at and say, ah, I'm not really interested in that. Because, you know, she doesn't really look that great. She has no lipstick and she doesn't look good. She doesn't you know, wear makeup. But a, there's a lot of girls out there that are really beautiful women. If you just give them a chance... Remember the girl in Rocky? You know, Rocky went to the Rocky went to the store. I think it was a pet store or something like that. <clears throat> and Rocky walks into the store, and you know, I can't remember the, the the woman's name, but she was kind of like a sleeper because when she when 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 she was all made up and stuff, she was a really beautiful woman. You know, and 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 you you got to give Rocky credit because Rocky could see that. And you know, I remember dating a girl back in back in Lawrence, and I dated this girl, and a lot of people said, man, Steve, what do you, what do you see in her? Like, like, like she's not really super attractive or anything like that. And I says, I says, you don't think so. I says, I says, watch. And I says, let's all go out to eat Friday night. We all went out to the river, this, this river restaurant. And it was right on the river. <clears throat> and I took her and everybody was like staring at her. And, and my friend comes up and he whispers in my ear. He says, man, he says, I, I never would have thought Steve, you know, I never would have thought because when she was all made up and she had a beautiful dress on, she had the she had a beautiful figure. She 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 put makeup on and she just shined. She just she was really really attractive and beautiful. And sometimes you got to look for those 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 women that that are that are out there that can look like that if they just have the chance to. You know, they need a nice dress. They need nice clothes. <clears throat> I've seen so many beautiful women in the Philippines. So many beautiful women and people. Most people would take a pass on them and say, I'm not really interested in that. Because look at her. She's she's shabby looking, you know, and she's she's poor and, you know. But you know what? If you give her a step up, you know, and, and you also you also have to be a, have that fear factor, I guess, of of is she going to hit me up for money? You also have to have your, your radar on for that. But keep in mind out there, guys, that when you're out there looking for women, all these things have to come, you know, be thought of a lot of guys come over here and they want the darker skinned women you're not going to see that too much anymore because all the soaps over here take away these girls tans very few women over here are really dark there's some naturally dark women over here that are always dark you know but even those some of those girls they're taking these soaps and stuff and they're, they're whitening them because usually, usually a lot of these girls would be a lot darker if they didn't use those soaps and I think if you took these girls back to the U.S., which I'm not telling you to take them back to the U.S., I tell people I recommend that people stay here with the, with a girl if you're going to get married or you're attracted or whatever. You know, make sure that you know you you know you pay attention to these women and and you know you really need to um, be on top of your game because if you take a girl back to the U.S., some of them will leave you no matter what. They they people start paying more attention to them because they're exotic over here. Over here, you're the exotic one. Remember that. You're the exotic one over here. To them, you know, you're exotic. Whether you're old or young, people look at you differently because of the fact that you're 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 a Westerner. You're an expat. 
and some of the women over here just att attracted to you because you're an expat, but when they go to the US or they go to Australia or to the UK, all the guys are gonna be paying attention to them. A lot of people are gonna be paying attention to them because they're the exotic ones over there. And that's the difference. And I remember I remember a friend of mine, she came to the United States and she, she came from, um, I think it was from, Jap yeah, it was from Japan. She came from Japan and she started working for this company that I, I worked for. And everybody was talking about how beautiful she is because she was exotic, she was different. And that's the difference. So you have to remember, if you keep a girl over here, I think you're better off. And also you, your cost of living, you can give her more. She can live better, you can live better. The cost of living over here is exceptionally cheap because of the, the, the rents are so low. You take a girl back home, you're paying $1,500, $2,000 a month for rent. Over here, you're probably gonna be paying $1,000 to $200 for a halfway decent place. But anyway, guys, God bless. Remember, keep those things considered when you're out there dating. There's a lot to consider out there, you know, and, and don't forget the scammers. That's the one you got to stay on top of. The, 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 it's the biggest issue over here. And I'm not saying everybody's a scammer out there, but there's a, and also don't mix a scammer with somebody that's poverty stricken and is asking you for money because her family really needs money desperately. Some people are just desperate and they're going to constantly hit, hitting you up with money. That doesn't make them a scammer. It makes them worried about their family. You know, there's differences. There are differences, but you don't want to be an ATM to somebody that's poverty stricken. You know, you want to make sure that the girl's in love with you. Make sure there's a lot of girls out there that don't want your money. And that's one of the things that I liked about my, my girlfriend now is that she never asked me for money. Never asked me for money, not even a nickel. So I don't have to worry about that. She's willing to go out working, she does her work. And then, you know, she works whenever she needs a few dollars or something, then comes home because she runs her own business. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show.